Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here going to be taking our first run of coal out to the Iron Works and see if we can get that underway. So we did get a fair decent stockpile out here. Haven't gotten it all out here. Obviously it takes quite a bit to fill fill the coal mine, but been running loads so have plenty to go. Did get in the track out at the new industry. So kind of want to get that pushed out as that opens up the next set of uh, industries. So that's kind of the goal of today. So back with the hopper cars, five of the new big ones. At least that's going to let us get, uh, get things moving. Not exactly sure how long or you know how many more of these I would add to this train. It's definitely heavy enough and is already enough to load. Would surely be cool to act to you know up this even more, but it does pay quite a bit compared to the old hopper car runs of you know coal, whatever you'd had to been pulling 11, 11 cars to get this much. So it's kind of nice, and it's a little bit of a reprieve, I guess, from running the bigger, longer trains. Um, as you can see, we did have kind of half of that stack. Uh, we did turn around and break that up just for ease of running. Been needing the um, Tier 2 cars in too many places, so where we just have the 20 of them, it's been a little easier to move around two stacks of 10. Hopefully we didn't just lose the train. Everything's wobbling. Are we good? All right, we're good. Looks good. Probably the wrong place to just slam on the brake. Haven't had any issues running the rail here, so just probably a bad area to uh, pick the slam on the brake there. Just about getting to sundown on the day. Kind of running actually like real time right now i think in the game so actually almost to the end of this day so that's gonna be good gonna be a long night not sure if i'm gonna keep you know running probably will run some night runs coming up looking forward to getting to the next set of industries not sure if we're gonna push out to oil or to um, I believe if once we get the iron works actually stuffed and we get some um, pipes and tools out of there, I think that's going to actually open up the ability to go after the gold chain. So might focus in that direction next um, to get out to the new stuff. Probably looking for, I think, down to like the gold dredge or something. Gold dredge or gold mine, not sure exactly which one. I think the gold dredge might be closer. I don't know. Still haven't decided that'll be the next target. I think that's going to be the next target. Is going to be the gold industry. As that's the new stuff. Still haven't seen it yet, and is rumored there's gold up in them hills so it'd be fun to get up in there and see how that's going to go all the way up to the north of the map as well so i think that's the direction we're turning turning north north to alaska uh, we're already at aurora falls quote unquote or alaska i'm not sure you know whatever aurora falls maybe that's in alaska i don't know Somewhere way up north, I guess, on the edge of the ice. <laughs> but the new map's been a lot of fun. Great terrain. Looks good. Map's laying out decent. So far, so good there. We did get a couple of more bug fixes. Um, yeah, just kind of a mini update. I guess that did come out um, earlier today. So that was definitely a thing. I think it was just like four or five bug fixes on a few things here or there. 
still been pretty lucky as I said hey, I have not run into a lot of bugs um, since the update I know that's obviously not the case for everybody everybody's experience varies depending on a lot of different things so and we're definitely always still looking to see improvements in quality of life and player performance or gameplay performance I guess you know these things are always coming I always have to remember game's still early access so you know it's gonna vary for some people also a lot of people are playing on the beta tests so that's the thing too but I know for me the game's been running pretty solid I don't have very many kit points performance wise we've had a few little weird things going multiplayer here and there but generally overall it's been much smoother um, haven't seen real popcorning or anything a little bit of desync here and there um, where you do have to like teleport every once in a while I have a player teleport and then come back to the train seems to be solving that problem you know whatever that is but obviously that stuff's always a work in progress so all right chugging along it's definitely gonna pull it Not sure if we can get this going any faster. Did turn around and get in rail here at the uh, oil field. That's another one dropped in some rail. There's a little siding there and they uh, did turn around and put in a turntable and tracks appropriate for the uh, pickups and drop-offs. Not sure that that's set in stone or anything, um, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. Probably gonna bring a loco up here to work the yard, just so it's a little easier to assemble bigger trains than we're just kind of send them out. So, a little different process for oil when we get there. Not like I said, I don't know if that, that's probably not going to be our next um, target. Could finish out the oil. Obviously, oil pays pretty good, but really I'd like to see kind of what the gold stuff is all about. So really probably head that direction, I think, for sure, probably. <laughs> so one of those, you know, I'm 99% positive that'll be the direction, but, you know, things come up, one never knows. This is already done. We already could bring stuff over here, but then getting the pipe and the coal, getting the uh, pipe and the tools, I'm pretty sure that's what we needed for the dredge. So I'll have to double check all that, but the dredge is not too, too far off that I, I don't know. If we can get down there and feed it, I'd like to start that. So, you know, there's an old faithful payoff for sure in the oil and it probably isn't too far away, but I would definitely like to see what the gold is all about. <laughs> gold fever in railroads online, I guess. I don't know. Throw a scoop of that in there to keep that going. Oh, this one was local. We still need to put water in. Yeah, we do. Well, hopefully we got enough in there to make it and we don't go with Splody Boom. Alright, we are actually going to have to shop that. How far up is our switch? I know we got a switch coming up here and uh pretty sure we're gonna have to flip it because there's basically no chance I got off the train on the way up there and flipped it. So, or I still haven't put in any signs here. Alright, it's gotta be right up there. Slow enough to 
did not run me over. Let's go. Good enough. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, that worked. There we go. Cut the brig off. We're good. Probably have one more switch down at the sawmill. I'm almost thinking we ran the tier twos up into the sawmill, probably. So, probably one more switch. We'll just have to see how it goes. Not sure if I like it or don't like it. It's definitely different, so for now it's kind of staying in there. Haven't done anything obviously with the farm chain yet, um, so no rush to straighten it out. Definitely plenty of opportunity to play around in there with things yet, so just gotta see see what becomes of things before we start rolling in there. I know that that process is gonna take. We gotta have. We gotta obviously have some loot put together so that we can uh, go at a fair amount of rolling stock there for the wheat stuff. Otherwise, you can run an awful lot of short loads. So don't get me wrong, it is kind of nice because that chain is kind of tucked in there in and amongst, you know. It's not like you gotta run 100 miles to do the wheat stuff, so that's kind of nice for, for the industry placement there. Again, it kind of just getting into the base um, stuff of the game so that we're kind of open up. Now we can kind of go in any direction of the end chains, whether it's, you know, wheat chain or, or farm chain, whatever you want to call it. Uh, farm, gold, or oil. So now that we have all the uh, fundamentals kind of in or foundation, I guess, if you will. Railroads underway. So that's working. Did turn around and put in a telegraph booth here, obviously, as you see, for the switch. Just kind of makes it easier. I know I've never actually done that before on any of the maps. That's kind of a new thing. I'm doing on this map. I'm sure other people out there do it all the time or have done it all the time, but it seems like a pretty good idea for this one, especially if you just where we have switches kind of out in the middle of nowhere. This is like the world's, not the world's biggest Y, but the biggest Y I've ever built effectively is what this is. So biggest Y for my track ever and uh, having some telegraph boots just kind of makes it a little easier to actually get the switching done there. So, or the switches flipped, not really switching. Oh, we gotta get on the brakes here. See if we can get this slowed down some. Get up here for the switch. Actually, it looks like we're good. I'll check that out. Alright, sweet. What I don't have to do. Hey, dude. Boy, that sun is getting low on the mountain. down, grab a little more speed. There we go. Oh, just looked like the back car wasn't loaded or something there for a minute. I'm like, but it's just the shadow across the... Uh, from the caboose there. I'm like, whoa, did I only half load that in? Not oh, pretty good. Great look there out to the lake. I have to say, just looks stunning. 
get rid of that for a hot minute. And then we're good to go here. There we go. Arrow downline. Looking pretty good. I have to say. Not too bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> nice work. Alright. Let's see if we can bring this thing home. Probably didn't need to chop the power, actually. This is going to be a grade now where we're going to need the power, I think, to pull. I don't think cutting this is going to actually pick us up any, any speed. I'll give it a shot. We'll see, but yeah, no. I think we're under full pull at this point. Yep. Full pull. I have to keep that up to keep it to 20. Just for fun. Yeah, I don't know. Quarter of a million pounds, pretty much, on this loco. Or on this load, if you will, between the load and the loco, that's for sure. So, definitely with the loco thrown in there, I mean, the load's a quarter of a million pounds, pretty much. So, definitely going to put in a little bit of work on the way. That's why I haven't been in a super hurry to add a ton more cars. I mean, obviously I could add a few more. It's clipping along just fine. But I don't really want to make it a hassle either. I always kind of a toss up for how much, how much effort you want to have to put into every time you run that load too. I, I have found that cutting down from the 20 to 10 cars just kind of, you know, I don't know. I would just venture to say it's just funner because I can just kind of slam it around and go and I do tend to like that I like that rather than having to like stress out about every not stress out but worry that you're going to derail and then have a gigantic pile up you know the bigger the trains are the bigger the messes they make when things go south so that always plays into it too a little easier to manage the uh, little smaller trains, I guess. A lot of this did turn around and get replaced. We did have bridge work in here from the original build. A lot of it's been replaced with groundwork. Comes out. It's not really too high. As we were doing some of the work in and deciding kind of like which groundwork to go with, just kind of decided I think this fits in here better. <clears throat> a little better anyway than the bridge up or the wall work not a big fan of the wall work out in the open grass I do like the um, bridge because I like the bridge deck running on the wood deck and especially when it comes to building I build in the uh, bridge work a lot just because you can get longer splines and you can cut trees underneath them and stuff like that much easier than a lot of other options so. but most of this getting swapped out this I thought about pulling this section because I could shorten it but I actually again I like the way that the wood decking looks so that section is definitely staying um, past this has not been cleaned up really super much yet so some things in there as far as groundwork will change but oh you can get a little glimpse at the rail up there that's cool it's the first time I've noticed that there we go railroad's looking good sun effect always nice alright let's start getting ready for our docking procedures here. Not sure exactly how this is gonna go. Well, we're actually gonna have to bring these to a rest, I suppose, because these things take longer to unload. Still have not figured out the timing of dropping these. They just take a long time to unload, so usually with the big hoppers just coming to a stop is in the order of the day enough money on the line that I'd hate to like just you know 
trash dump them effectively. Let's see if we can get that down in time. As you can see, you do have the wood pretty much full. Have brought in some iron. Definitely going to run out of iron fast, but coal is the last remaining ingredient. So, going to kind of get that going. That way we can get the coal resupplied for... I think that pretty sure the dredge, you know. Next, are going to be running through a lot more coal nowadays. I don't know if I dare try to. Let's dare. Let's do it. Is it working? Yes. Strapping in there. Okay, that's cool. So we should pull further forward then. He's actually probably paid decent, I don't know, 300 and something a car now, like probably 330 or something like that a car now. Oh, too far. Yeah, way too far. Oops. Well, we can get that one and that one, and then we'll just roll back a little bit. That'll work. I'm going to complain. It's about 1500 bucks for the load. So that's working out, too. Definitely going to help. Great. All right, that's gonna get that back in there. Yeah, there you go, piling back up. I hate that. That that drives me nuts. That you can't see the money piling up in the money thing anymore. As the stock comes in, you have to blink in and out of there. Which that part drives me nuts. It's always been my favorite part of watching the money roll in. You know, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Hopefully that comes back at some point there. But there we go, up to 24 grand, so moving back in the right direction, that for sure. This stuff now underway, so we should have some, yeah, there we go, tools and pipes, somewhere, pipes, starting horrible amounts and obviously pretty much out of iron already, so we're going to need a lot more raw iron. That always seems to be the one that you burn through tons of up here. So we'll probably get a little bit of stock going with the coal and then run some more iron so we can get that stuff going and start handing it down the line. But we're definitely going to call that one a win and say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.